So I'm at Mountain Creek Campground, I'm with my friend Shay and uh, we are on the way up Mount Bogong, uh, Victoria's highest mountain. Um, we're just going for a day hike, it's about 8 k's up Staircase Spur to the summit um, and about 1500 meters of elevation gain. It's been raining the last couple of days but now the sun's out and it's looking pretty good so looking forward to getting up there. So I forgot how beautiful the start of this hike is. You're constantly zigzagging, crossing over the creeks and little streams and a bunch of little bridges. Get over it, it's got a lot of character and um, it's just the calm before the, uh, calm before the steep. This hike can be done in a day or overnight. So we've got first aid, food, water, jackets if the weather changes and it's just worthwhile making sure that you're prepared. There's not reliable phone service up here, so just make sure you're aware of that when you come out and that you know where you're going and maps are also a good idea. <laughs> so you've grown up in this area um, and lived here most of your life. You know, what do you li like about the mountains or this part of the world? I basically just love being outdoors in general. The views are just spectacular from up on top of a mountain and I just don't think you can beat it. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> Starting to steepen up. And the heart rate's picked up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have a good run. That was Blake Hose, he's a friend of ours and he's a professional runner. I asked him if he wanted to come up today and he said, oh no, I gotta, gotta do a hard hill running session. And so uh, he's picked Victoria's highest mountain to, <laughs> to get on. So we might see him again later, we'll see. <laughs> what do you think of the energy gel show? It's disgusting. <laughs> Why do you have one? I don't know, I did a I did an obstacle race a couple of years ago and I thought I'd need lots of these. So now I've just got loads of them at home and I'm just trying to get through them before they go out of date, which was about seven days ago now. So I'm just loading these ones in today, that's for sure. So I was doing a bit of research before I came up here today, just about the mountain and learned that um, indigenous tribes used to meet at the top of Mount Bogong the ceremonies and to share Bogong Moss and some of them had traveled as far as the coast um, to be up here and they'd often share uh, different tools for materials and oh, I've said it before in other videos that just knowing the history of a place gives so much more depth and fulfillment and something like this. Super cool. common thing when hiking is blisters and blister prevention. As soon as you get any signs that you've got a hot spot, it's worth addressing straight away. And Shay's just got these new hiking boots. Uh, we've pulled out the gel, doing the sneaky old gel trick. So if you've got an energy gel, um, you can slip it down the back of your shoe, outside your sock, but inside your shoe. Um, and that helps reduce any friction and uh, gets rid of some of those hot spots or wear spots that you can get from blisters. Just finished the gel. <laughs> About to test the so-called theory. Yeah, let's hope it works, because otherwise I'm in for a very painful hike. <laughs> Fashion. All about it, up in the high country. Just uh, entered the clearing before Bivouac Hut. A couple years ago, a few friends and I did almost a 24 hour mission from Bright on foot and on bike and ended up stopping in here at um, 2 a.m. I think it was, for a hot chocolate and something to warm up. So it's, it's worthwhile knowing where these huts are if you're um, ever coming into the high country, just as a reference point, place to stop in. Blake's just appeared. We've, um, <laughs> we're only halfway up and he's on his way back down. Uh, how was it? It was nice, mate. Yeah, it was good. Conditions are perfect up there. It's not even windy. Nice and clear. You can see Cozzy. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. There's actually a glider right in the distance. If you look back to the glider video, I actually flew over Mount Bogong up here and had beautiful views looking down from the top. So I'm looking forward to being from the other perspective and um, being a hiker. So these are um, snow poles and they're marked on maps. They're used for navigation. If you ever get stuck in a whiteout uh, in snow conditions or in just low cloud and you can't see where you're going, um, don't lose sight of of the pole and get lost and end up somewhere way off track. It's a good reminder that at any time up here, conditions can change and just to be prepared, definitely a lot cooler up here than it was down in the valley this morning. And you can get snow in summer and all kinds of things like patches of snow now. <laughs>
we're within eye shot of the summit you can see pretty much as far as the eye can see snow poles it's cool seeing this way in summer i've been up here in winter and it's a totally different thing and i mean it's just this massive ever forever changing playground where you know people come up here for backcountry skiing and camping in winter and it's so nice being up here on a clear day like this and um yeah looking forward to seeing it from the summit Yeah. <laughs> so at the summit, uh, 1,986 metres above sea level, um, it's pretty fresh so looking forward to chucking on a jumper. Um, our beauty's down in the valley below, right over the next valley. You can see the Kosciuszko Range in New South Wales Alps and you can see snow poles and trails right out towards Cope Hut and right across the um, high country, it's pretty epic. Hope you guys enjoyed that video today. We'll see you guys next week uh, for our last video before a little break. Um, hope you're all well. And for those that are out of Melbourne, I uh, hope you're enjoying your time. Here we go.